Let's press on to the next section, Living Souls. And this caption says, People do not have souls, they are souls. So, we all got soul. And I, that's awesome, I always wished I had. I mean, I, I, I always suspected I didn't. Still got no rhythm, though. All right. A soul is simply a living human being. And then when you're dead, it's a ghost, I guess. A spook. The King James Bible translates the Hebrew word nephesh as soul. Thus, it renders Genesis 2-7 in this way. Man became a living soul. Okay. Most modern translators render nephesh as living being or living person. Hmm. The word soul in this passage might be confusing because this term is often connected to the idea of the immortal soul. Oh, really? Pray tell. There's a difference? <laughs> You're about to learn something. I'm so excited. <sighs> but this is a concept... Wait. But this is a concept this passage in Genesis doesn't address. Well, I hope you do. You brought it up. <sighs> Genesis does not describe Adam as having a soul. Some type of ethereal entity that is distinct from his physical body. Instead, the Bible says that Adam became a soul, a living person. When God combined the dust of the earth with the breath of life, it's clear from the Bible that a soul is simply a living human being. When you, at, when you walk down the street and see another person strolling by, you are seeing a soul. That's nice. Wish more people thought that way, even if it's, it is nonsense. Maybe they'd shoot pe other people less and do horrible things less, maybe. Wouldn't that be nice? I'm all for that. <sighs> Nothing in the creation account indicates that a soul exists apart from the body. All right. There is no reason to assume, then, that a conscious immortal entity exists separate from the physical form given to us by God. The Bible even says... The soul who sins shall die. Ezekiel 18.20. Well, he was probably just referring to a living person, you know. <laughs> yeah. The soul will die and become a ghost. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Uh, often the Bible uses the word soul to refer to to the whole person. Really nice. Good to see the whole person. There's a lot more going on than you can just glance at or stare at. And sometimes translate, translators use it to refer to our emotions. But scripture does not teach that humans are made of two distinct parts that exist apart from each other. Again, a living being exists only when the body and breath come together. Okay. This indivisible union makes a soul, a living person. 
and that's the end of living souls. But they're living souls. There's also an immortal soul, I think. I'm trying to help here. Chime in. Discuss. I don't care what it's about. Just discuss. Try to be nice if you can, but I haven't blocked anybody yet. <laughs> so, then again, don't get a lot of traffic. Anyhow, to be continued. And the next part is, what is death? Some heavy shit is what.